Right, so we've got a couple of undead there. I did check all this back here and it was pretty clear. It looked earlier like there was some more floating around. There we go. So I've just come from down in that location. I've just been to the airfield that we were in the first episode. Just because I wanted a little bit more in the way in the way of gear. Whoa. Did they just latch onto me then? Okay. Let's try and take them out with the bow. I'm having to be really careful because there has recently been an update, and I believe it was a major one, which I didn't really notice all that much. I didn't really <laughs> take a look at it because I believe it was character stuff. And to be honest, I probably should have. But as far as I can tell, it's just like, I guess, muscle definition and stuff like that. Like, if you want to be lean or if you want to carry a lot more muscle. And I believe that, like, has an effect on your attributes, too. But yeah, I did go over to the uh, the airfield just because I wanted... A little bit more in the way of like weaponry and stuff and i got the uh the svd with the scope suppressor and in fact let me just show you guys we put that in there we go to mods yeah we got the uh, suppressor the sight the extended magazine and the butt for it too took me a while <laughs> and i'm not gonna lie this game can be terrifying especially at night time but with me taking a couple of hours just to get used to everything, I feel like I've got things down now. So let me just show you all real quick. I'm being extra careful around here because I briefly got worried in the previous episode about wildlife in this game. Oh, they do exist. <laughs> there's wolves, there's bears, and they are massive. Like, they are no joke. They will just one hit you out of this world. So what I've worked out is basically paying attention to this thing here, the fatigue. All you got to do is press I and it brings this up. So this one here, the lay down one. Just take a couple of minutes. Look up at the stars. <laughs> and basically you'll recover your fatigue pretty quickly. It's just literally like resting. Like, I know I don't like comparing the two, but like in Scum. Kind of when you just take a bit of a break. But this is what we have. We have the uh, the SVD. I've got my spear again. I believe this is an addition to the game. Either that or it's like random. But... I don't know if we got this last time, I can't remember it, but we do have a cookery now as well, and you can see all the ammunition that I've collected. Made a bunch of <laughs> different arrows as well. We start off with the steel arrows, and I made a bunch of these stone arrows. If you're wondering how to do that, by the way, because I know I haven't shown it, it's this thing up here with the hammer. You click that, and it brings all the crafting stuff up, and it's pretty easy to get. All you got to do is break out your axe that you start with. You can just... I'm not going to do it because I think it'll make noise, but you just smack one of these down, and it'll give you some sticks, and you see these on the floor? These stones, it's literally just like one stick and two stones or something like that. Or what did it say? Let's have a look. I think it's stone arrow. Yeah, one stick, one stone. So it's one for one. You can make a whole bunch of them. And then while you're going around looking for some weapons or something, that should get you by. Just keep an eye on the durability of everything. Okay, right. So what we want to do is just have a little bit to drink. I am running really, really low on supplies for like food and water. So the reason why I'm starting here is because I want to go into that supermarket I think it's Dawn of the Dead. <laughs> My zombie movies are very, very hazy because <laughs> it's been a minute. But but yeah, I remember that being like one of my favorite settings for a zombie movie. So I thought <laughs> if I'm going to be screaming in there in a second, I may as well bring you guys along for it. And this is going to be my last little bit of food as well. The character does look different too. Made some like minor changes. There's this as well. I don't know if this was a thing before. Oh, he's not doing it now. But there's like a weird animation that he does where he just kind of gives like a glance over his shoulder. But yeah, I believe that update took like two, three months to implement. So I don't know if development is really, really slow. Again, what we're going to be doing today is just having a little bit of fun. Going out on an adventure in an apocalyptic world and just seeing what trouble we can get into. I do want to have a look at this though, because this is pretty much the first car that I've found. Let's make sure we're reloaded. I found this Glock as well at the, uh, the airfield. Okay, so this is one that we can repair. So we can find vehicles then. They've added... Yeah, that can move. They've added, uh, like, careers and stuff. Like, policeman, explorer and stuff. And I believe they give you different attributes too. Ooh. Okay, so we can use that as storage. If I go in there now, am I going to get stuck? 
This will absolutely break my heart. Okay, we can't fire that up. Oh, I can turn the headlights on, though. Right, let's get back out. All right, I'm going to attempt it. If it's too hot, then we're going to keep going. But the mission for today is what we said in that previous episode. We're going to try and take a look at the city. There's no promises that I'll survive it, guys. But <laughs> we'll try and take a look at what's going on. What have we got here? Just broken down parts. Yeah, okay. There we go. I feel like I'm getting a little bit better with the, uh, the bow, and arrow, bow and arrow too. You guys also did let me know that I've got to be careful around these vehicles when searching them because car alarms are a thing in this. And apparently that brings them in. So I have been being really careful with it. Take care of it nice and quick. Okay, it seems pretty empty in there, but it does look like there's supplies, which is perfect. Always check your six in this as well because the undead have a habit of being incredibly quiet. I'll get rid of that. I don't know what that is. Rotten food? Yeah, no. No, thank you. I really want to try the SVD, but I don't want to fire a shot. And I feel like because I've found this too, the gun oil, which looks like it's in a WD-40 can, I feel like <laughs> it might need... Oh, that does sound good. It's very similar to the last one, but it does sound good. Look how cool this looks too. <laughs> That's why I wanted it. I wanted something different than the last episode. I was like, you know what? Let's just go around a little bit, do a little bit of looting, see how it all works, see what you can find. And see how that goes. I mean, those teeth. Right, so let me swap this real quick for the spear. Close quarters. You can see how much I've been using the bow as well. Right, what we got? We need water, food. That's our main things. What's that? Compressed biscuits. I'll take those. We'll take a beer as well, so if if we're successful today, <laughs> we can have a nice beer or something. What's that? Is that protein powders? Oh, here we go. Okay, that's what we need. The jackpot. Right, give me these. Wait, is that cat food? Can dog... I'm taking it. I want to feel like Mad Max. Give me this. Nothing in that one. And the weather's starting to come down too. It's actually kind of scary when the weather does come in, and for one main reason, like I've just said, the undead are very, very quiet in this. So you can just be doing something like I was doing earlier, which is just making arrows, and you will never, ever see that there's one sneaking up on you. And I've got a feeling there's going to be one trapped in the back room here. Oh, that back door's open. What would be absolutely hilarious is if you could take one of the shopping trolleys or shopping carts <laughs> and, like, roll it down a hill and jump in it. <laughs> Just for your own amusement. No other reason. Just entertaining yourself in the apocalypse. You gotta do something, right? Make the days go by a little bit quicker. Right. Let's put that back on our back. Okay, what we'll do now, then, is we can switch this out for that. Where does that go, then? It's on the floor. Yeah, this is what you gotta be careful of. If you don't have room... You're very quickly going to start dropping a lot of the stuff that you want to keep, so... Hmm, let's eat this now. I'm definitely going to save the uh, the beer. I want to keep that. Let's put that there. Okay, well, a little Dawn of the Dead experience. <laughs> Fairly short, but still kind of cool. Taking a look at a supermarket. So, the city should be down the road here to the right, and we're going to follow it all the way around. Now... I do want to have a look to see if we can get some better clothing. Because I only really found this military jacket while I was up there. And I know you can find more. I've seen you guys sending me pictures of how you've basically been surviving in this game. And you can find some cool stuff too. Like genuinely that looks like survivor gear. That's kind of bloodstained too. I don't know if that's after fighting the undead. Or if it's generally just something you can find in the game. But... That's more of what I was talking about in the previous episode. I don't like the super clean look in an apocalypse, or at least in an apocalypse setting. And even though it said at the beginning, it's only been like three years. Three years is a long time 
to not really like take care of your hygiene and stuff like that. And a lot can go wrong in three years, like as we've all seen. <laughs> Don't need to bring that up again, right? But yeah, I just I like the grunge look, almost like we've been living rough. I feel like it paints a better story of like the struggles of how this would actually be. Is that actually giving a shelter too? I like that. I'm terrified of touching these now in case the car alarm goes off. Let's keep the bow and arrow out. Don't go off, don't go off. Please, 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 please. Okay, so we got a deagle in there. I don't need that. I am finding quite a lot of stuff too. Again, I am playing on beginner, so... It's not really an issue of me finding anything. Again, you can change all of this. I'm just playing as it would be straight out of the box. Look at these guys. Reminiscing of bad times. Playing on the courts. All right, let's try and get that accuracy down. This is where I come unstuck a lot though, because while I'm taking these guys out, oh shit. That will stagger them. Let's put one in his knee. I wanna see if I can show you guys this. Yeah, look, you see how that one came from around the back? I would have had no idea that came in, but it's almost like one of them makes a noise and then it brings more in so it, it's definitely noise oh it's definitely noise related disable the knee take out the head that's my favorite one that's a hell of a pose too look at that <laughs> super fancy how many teeth have we got now because if we find a traders i think it's like 45 ish to get the um, the AK. In all honesty, I'm totally fine with the SVD that I've got. Ooh. What is that? See, that's super weird, but I like it. I mean, it looks a little bit destroyed. Oh, there's a train down. Oh, I have to go and see that. Got this thing in the back of my mind, like, if I was to build a game like this... I would absolutely put something like that for people to discover. And then the minute you open, like, the train car doors, <laughs> there'd be a flood of the undead coming out of it, like the passengers were stuck on the train when all this went down. I know it's so horrible to say, but how cool would it be? Right, what's this? Blueprint for a sewing machine. Ooh, okay, so what do we do with these, then? Do we just read it? We have to put it onto there? Item cannot be equipped here. Pick up blueprint. Okay, I don't really know what to do with the blueprints right now. Maybe I need something else to... To learn them, but... I don't know what that is. Nothing. Ooh. Okay, right. Let's probably just... Do this for a second. And I'm gonna grab the cookery just so we've got something. Some luggage. I mean, some extra, like, little biscuits or something would be nice. <laughs> but I'm saying, like, energy biscuits. Let me show you guys. Like, these things. The oh, it's not going to tell me now, is it? Like, you can find, like, energy uh, energy bars and stuff, and they do help with the fatigue and things. <laughs> Just find some biscuits. The one thing in the apocalypse that I want to look for, give me your biscuits and your pants. <laughs> okay. Let's put that there. I think we should grub out as well when we get a second. Got a little bit of food now. Want to try and get as much up inside us as we can while we can. The coffee beans, they do help with fatigue, but I don't really know how to uh, to actually make it. Ooh, okay. Wow. So we got different jacket, a large backpack, bike. Do we want to use that? Let's see what it looks like. What the hell is that? It says motorcycle helmet. That's not a motorcycle helmet. Is this one different? Okay, that's actually a motor. See, that actually looks kind of cool. That gives me DayZ vibes. But I really don't like wearing anything on my head. I know that's stupid. You should wear head protection. But you never know. If there's raiders, bandits, watching you through a scope, the first thing they're probably going to go for is your head. What's this? Sun hat? See, this is more my style. And this is probably why I would die in an apocalypse. But this is more my style. The hat? Absolutely not. No. No, I'm not doing it. What about this one? See, that one is not actually that bad. Yeah, I might I might rock that. Ooh, some shorts. 10 defense, 10 cold resistance, 10 scratch resistance. So how does that... 
change to what we've got. Okay, these are a little bit better. Seeing as though the heavens have opened, <laughs> I don't think it's a smart idea to go into a city with this low visibility. So let's just stay here for a sec. We'll take on some food, some water, and I would love if we could like make a fire in these as well. You know, like how you have them in the barrels. That barrel is massive. You probably can get barrels this big, but there's certain things in this that just seem huge. I remember from the previous episode, like the, the bus stop. <laughs> it was made for giants. All right, hold on. Let's take a knee. A cool weather system in place. Consume this. There you go. Let's see how we're doing. Okay, we need something to drink. Let's go ahead and get that up in us. We good? Yeah, we can have a little bit more. You can actually see how much is in it too. You see how it says capacity on it? You've got another drink after this one if you want it. That's why these bigger bottles have been better. But you can't always find them. Ooh. See the flickering of the grass? Sometimes that happens when there's a wolf nearby. And that's what happened when I saw the bear too. There we go. We're looking a lot better now. So antibodies, 94 over 100. If your antibodies reach zero, you'll die. Hygiene. Affects zombies' perception, wound infection, mood recovery, if too low. Okay, so we got to keep this high. I like how we can look around while we're doing this as well. Wait, drag container hit. Oh, this is how we refill the bottles then. Where's my empty one? There. Drag container here. So that's full now. But that's got dirty water in it, so I'd have to boil it as well. You know what? Let me get rid of that because I will end up drinking it. <laughs> but good to know that. Yeah, so it's back up to 100 now. So does that mean that they can't, like, smell me from a distance, I guess? Because everything that the Walking Dead's taught me, you want to smother yourself in, like, the undead's guts and things, right? To kind of mask your scent. <laughs> I don't know how that works. What is that? Okay, the city's over there. The sensitivity when you're in first person, like with a, uh, a sight or a scope, is unreal. And I can't lower it. <laughs> so if it looks like I'm snapping around the place, just know it's not me, guys. The, the sensitivity is either yes or off. Ah, oh, there we go. Every time I've seen one of these gas stations... There's always been undead around. Give me your teeth. Ooh, hospital. It's a teeny tiny hospital, but we we should check that out. I need antiviral stuff. Have we got more water that we can carry and saw something up there too? All right, there we go. Now they're all coming out. They can soon, like, build up on you too. you got to be really, really careful. One of them's trying to beat the door down there. That is a nice house as well. <laughs> you guys tell I'm actually house hunting <laughs> IRL right now. <laughs> I'd love something like this, but I don't think I'll ever get anything like that. To let you out. There we go. Come on, then. I think you went out the backside. Always in that habit of just checking behind me every time I fire one. I don't really need anything, so I'm not really going to loot all that much. But you can, though. Look at all this stuff. Nice big old garage, too. Cool looking home. Not sure about the uh, <laughs> the back garden area, <laughs> public parking or something. What is this? I don't know that's supposed to be. It's weird, is what it is. All right, get out of here. Whenever I hear that, it's usually a couple of them coming in. Saw the one over to the left, the skinnier one. Come on. Come on. Try 
Trying to make sure I'm grabbing the teeth too. They do um they do despawn our decay pretty quick if you don't get over to where you take them out. Which is a pain. Also, I've noticed I'm not really finding all that much teeth on them. I've taken down quite a few, and I've only got, what, 36 now? See, what would be amazing here is if there was a zombie inside there, and just in that kind of crack in the door, if there was something keeping it closed, there was an arm that came through. Just, like, reaching out. It'd be amazing, that. Just little moments just to scare the ever-living piss out of you. Take that. I don't think there's anything in here we want. Hope you don't mind this, guys, by the way. I know <laughs> I know we're trying to get to the city. We will get there, but this is kind of what I've been doing for the last little while while I've been gearing up. Just having a look around, seeing, like, different areas and stuff. Just enjoy seeing, like, what's been placed where, what shops, how they look. Yeah, there's the bus stop that I was telling you guys about. <laughs> it's absolutely massive. Look at the size of that thing. I don't know, maybe maybe somewhere around the world they are kind of shaped like this, but it looks huge. Oh. I thought that was dead on. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we're only bleeding. Right, switch. We're okay. All right, let's take care of that bleeding. See, that's how quick things can change. They can be really, really quick when they're getting close. You don't expect it. Ooh. Okay, let's see how we're doing then. Hold on. So, 97. So, we did get a little bit of a lick off that other one back there. What's that? That's carbs. Could use something to drink. We okay? Keep an eye on that house there. Got something to drink. Just top off. Should we go and check that place out? That's a lot more along the lines of Dawn of the Dead, right? There's another building over there as well. At least a bigger one, is what I'm trying to say. And one back there. It's kind of hard to see right now. Still got the uh, the flashlight working. I haven't really been using it all that much because you can brighten things up. Which I know is a little bit like, mm, but for the video. <laughs> okay, well, turns out it's not a shopping mall. Some kind of train station or something. There is a shop down there with a giant cake in it, but <laughs> I'm definitely not going to be eating that after three years. So I think this is a good a place as any just to get a couple of hours in, seeing as though it's what? Yeah, like nearly 11 p.m. I guess I can show you guys this. So you got like a little wave option. We've got a little thing that we can sit down with, <laughs> which is really weird for like a sit down animation. And what else we got? I haven't tried all of them, so I'm a little bit. <laughs> Nervous here. Wait, what's going on? There we go. Oh, is that hands up? Okay, so that will be for like the multiplayer option. <laughs> Someone's holding you up. Give me your pants. Put your hands up. <laughs> what else we got? We got the lay down, which you guys have seen. What's this? Just dance? Yeah. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> what's he doing? That's not dancing. Stop that right now. Stop. Okay. <laughs> oh, so we can imitate a zombie too? Wait. Can you actually do that? So, if I get like all worn out, ooh! Oh shit! Stop! Stop! <gasps> Problems. Was we drawing them in with the noise we were making from our sexy dance back there? The age-old question. Can zombies navigate an escalator? <laughs> Give me all that stuff. Got some fabric too. No arrow recovered. Well, shit. Okay, we're really draining those arrows quickly. Okay, nine. Yeah, we've got a lot left. Let's get back to it. <laughs> is that zombie or is that being electrocuted? <laughs> Okay, let's stop that. <laughs> don't know if that's... <laughs> don't know if that's a zombie. I think we're being electrocuted there. What's that? Is this begging? Like... What? We're making a power ballad video or something? What is that? That's, it, that shows like, no, please, don't kill me, please. I got a wife and children. And he's like... <laughs> he just wants to burst out and like... <laughs> 
Some kind of romantic metal ballad or something. What's that? Oh no, maybe this one. What? I don't know what they are. <laughs> These are not lining up right, but this is the one what we need. So let's slide down. Not like that. No, don't don't break all my immersion. I have found out like a little trick as well though, if if you guys want to know this. But if you lie down, and then I kind of wanted to see what it'd look like if you went into first person. You can't really see much. There's a lot of chest going on. Like everywhere you go. But you look at the legs. Pay attention to this. You can <laughs> Can change the direction we'll lay down in. <laughs> Look, if I want to face this way, I'll face this way and get the legs pointing like that. <laughs> I don't know why you'd need to know that, but there it is. Okay. I think I'm going to get a couple of hours shut. I'll be back with you guys at first light. I hope I don't have any of those weird dreams. <laughs> oh. We got a big boy. What's the arrow drop? There we go, that's a hit. I think I got him in one of his folds. Come on, big guy. Oh, wait. I love that. I absolutely love that, that kind of stagger animation. That's in the throat. In the head. Come on. Oh, shit. Oh! oh no! I'm not reloaded! See, I'm panicking! Oh! Uh oh! Go down, big boy! Please! Oh my god! How? Get! No! Oh! His biggest defense! Railway line. Oh my, th there's no way. There's no way. Can you not get over this? Oh. Oh shit. No, you. So you've got like a charge as well. Oh, oh we're going to die. Oh no. What else have we got? We got the cookery as well, haven't we? So let's use that. I hope that thing- Oh, no! No, Gallop, please! Oh! oh. No! Oh, fuck! Oh, my God! Go down, big boy! Please! Okay, run, 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 run. I know we're hurting too. Look at the spit. Fuck it out. Can we throw this? Uh. Who? What is that? Oh, you're some kind of like mutation. Okay. Get the spear, Chad. Here we go. This is it. What is that? Come on, Chad. Come on, you got this. Keep giving it. Oh, back up, back up. Keep your distance. Oh, we've got to be making a dent on this thing. Oh, it's like sp spine showing too. Oh, no. No. Come on! Oh, switch to this. Switch, switch, switch. Oh, my... Run, Chad! We've met our match. Oh, no! We're bleeding. Come on, big guy. Wait, grab the adrenaline. Use it. Time to become a super soldier. Use this. We're going back in. I'm not giving up the fight with that thing. I want to take it down. I think that may be how we get our claws. Thirsty work fighting these monsters. 
There he is. These things do not die. Oh my. Oh, Chad, fight for your life. Get him. Yes. Oh, he's a beast. Wait, are we good? Heal. I don't think I'd have been able to survive that with the uh, leaner version that we had before. I really don't. Look at this. Got the Yeah, that's definitely the one where you get the claws from. Yeah, there it is. You only get one? Okay, just shy of 6 a.m. So what have we got? Canned vegetables. Rich canned meat. Canned vegetable meat. What's this down here? Wait, what does that say? Hot and spicy chili. See, this is what you want to have before you go <laughs> into a city of the undead. Canned honey meat and canned dog food. Oh, you know what? I'm going to make us suffer a little bit. I'm going to have some hot and spicy chili along with some canned dog food. Now that is a cocktail. <laughs> Let's have that. We're about there we go. Wait, where is... Oh, there we go. So the carbohydrates are all the way up. My mood is great. Antibodies are increasing. Protein. What about this? Let's give us some protein. That's got to have all the protein. There it is. 100. Nice. Okay. <laughs> it makes sense of this a little bit. Put all these down here. And there we go. We've got a little bit more space to work with now. I really don't think I'm going to be looting all that much, but you never know. Should we break out the Glock? What does this thing look like? Okay, not too bad. Okay, before we go in, I've just found this. <laughs> the gun shop. I'm absolutely taking care of you first, though. You'll be waiting around that side. This is one of the undead that absolutely terrifies me, especially when it sneaks up. There's another one over there that probably heard the noise. Come on in. In all honesty with you guys, I should probably be using the SVD to try and get my uh, my aim down with that. <laughs> I'm so used to using the bow and arrow now that I'm going to be ter terrible with that thing. I swore I just heard something stand right next to me then. What we got? Nothing. Some more ammunition. I really don't need that. I got so much from the uh, the military spot. Ooh. Yeah, give me a shotgun, please. Oh, no way. Okay, no, we're definitely taking that. Nope, nope, nope. Give me this. I've got to make room somehow. Put that there. Okay, there we go. We got the saw. Let's switch that for that. And is this loaded? Oh, we do. I think I think this takes 556, five, right? Oh, yes. Wait. Oh, there we go. Okay, the, the sights are a little bit like... A little bit washed out, but I mean, this could be fun. Hold on. We got the sniper there. I found this ACOG at the airfield, but I don't really think I've got anything that I can use it for. Yeah, still got more 556 five, in reserve as well. Do I want to keep the spit? I kind of want to keep everything that I've got here now, especially this as well. Just in case we get ourselves into a pickle. What's in here? Oh, what is this? Oh, shotgun as well. Oh. <gasps> AK-47, that could definitely go in there. Okay, let's bring all these out. What do we want to take? What do we want to take? We've got the pick of the lot now. Okay, so I guess this is where me and the bow part ways. Don't really need that anymore. And I did keep hold of this as well. The 7.62 extended mag. So I think I can use that in here. Let's go mods. Magazine, yes. Oh, I, I know I left an assault suppressor back over at the airfield base as well. I knew I should have brought that. <gasps> no! The alarm went off. Shit, run! Switch to the saw. <gasps> Shoot! Okay, we're bleeding. Oh, why is there like a weird delay with this? Heal. I don't mind dying, but not right off the rip. Okay, yeah, we're getting way too greedy as well in there. I think we've got everything that, that we'll need. There is stuff in there that I really, really want. Oh, that was cool though. When we took the, uh, the weapon out of the place, the alarm went off. Okay, that was like a neck shot. There we go. 
Oh, you can see the facial expressions on them now. Oh, I don't know how I feel about that. Here we go. Look at that sway too. Oh, that's brutal. A little bit high. <laughs> there we go. It's really, really difficult, guys. I promise. So I've been taking out a few of these things, but... Not seen any massive groups of them so far. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Okay, so this is the, uh... Yeah, the clothes store. We got, like, a... a cute little black number or something like that. Oh, here we go. Leather shoes. Wait. Speed, defense, cold resistance. So what have we got with these? Speed, 17. Defense, 2. 15. So 17, 2, 15. And what were they? Okay, the ones we're wearing are way better. Gloves? Wait. We already got gloves on. Oh, it would have been the military ones that I found. Yeah, let's get rid of those. The fingerless ones kind of work a little bit better. Yeah, there we go. We got the green too. I want to kind of get away from the green. It's too much green, you know? I've said it before. You got to look good in the apocalypse. <laughs> you don't look good. You don't feel right. You miss all your shots. What's this? Nothing. Yeah, this place has been completely ransacked. Oh, what does that say? Bunch of crazy people just leaving a load of wild shit over the windows. But I like that, though. Like, the, the weird graffiti and stuff. The end is near. It's too late. Run for your life. All that kind of stuff. You've probably seen me do it in the thumbnails and things like that, but... Yeah, I love that. Hello. There's a lot less... ...of these things than I thought there would be, but we still got a little bit of time. We've got that section over there. Which is where I think we're going to see most of the problems. Is that a phone box? <laughs> That's kind of cool. Oh, here we go. You'll have to forgive me, guys, okay? I I need to find the right outfit. <laughs> I should have just titled this video, Finding the Right Outfit in the City of the Undead. <laughs> Ew! Everything is trash. Complete utter trash. I'm not wearing that shit in the apocalypse. i got to look good. Oh, 25 speed with these as well. Okay, yeah, we're definitely equipping those. Wait, let's get rid of these. And throw them on. Do we look good? Oh, we look so good. Some fresh shoes. What else we got? Come on, give me something else. Some, like, nice pants or something are going to go a long way right now, you know? the backpack. Oh, we got another shop here. This is literally just me shopping right now in the apocalypse. Oh, here we go. This is what I was kind of looking for. Oh, we got those as well. Are they? They're the same, but blue. No, I kind of like these ones. Right, let's take our pants off. And then equip those. Yeah, there we go. That's way better with the fresh kicks too. <laughs> oh, it's so shit. Nope. Back up. I messed my pants up. Oh, that... That sight's gonna get me killed. You're gonna get back up. Yep. You hear that step? That's what makes me paranoid in this. Yeah, I'd really have liked a pistol with a suppressor on it or something like that. Whoops. I thought he was going to lean into that first shot. There's one in that shop right there. I wonder if we can go through the window. Let's see if we can. Oh, we can break the glass. Okay, wait, what? That missed. There we go. 17th time lucky. I'll take it. Fire arrow and... F wait, fish bait? Oh, wait, is that the type of arrow that you fire into the water and it explodes? So the fish go towards it and then... <laughs> oh, wait, so that means we can fish in this then. We can actually get, like, a food source from the water then. Miss. I'm trying to anticipate where their heads are going to be. Match it with that sway, but... That one's going to get back up. <laughs> I 
There we go. Yeah, you, you've got to kind of... Ooh. you got to kind of anticipate where those weird body movements are going to go. With that sway. But I would be interested to know if the, um... Like, the different skills, different attributes and stuff, if it does help with that. Use the suppressor while we can. Okay, what we got? Alcohol ointment? I'll take that. Gastric medicine? I'll take the first aid kit, but... Really hoping that we'd find some of that antiviral stuff. I think you can use the. Uh... Push, 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 push. I think you can use the antiviral stuff to uh, sell to the traders and get really good relationships with them. Switch to this one. Oh, yeah, the movements. <laughs> the way that head was moving then. <laughs> I'm blaming it on that, guys, okay? I'm blaming it on that and that I've had a Red Bull. Go down. That was a headshot. Go down, please. There we go. All right. I'm not usually that bad, okay? I am blaming this. You guys have seen me. My aim doesn't suck that bad. Let's get rid of this stuff. Kind of more of the same really over this side <laughs> more of those donuts and pastry shops which makes me sad to be honest i'd like to see like one side of the city could be something another side of the city could be full of like shops and there's so much you could do with this i hate the kind of copy and paste as aspect Ooh. oh this sounds real nice Okay, so I think that does have an effect, because this is a higher caliber, too. You jumping down there? Oh, yeah, they're all coming out. Keep moving. Trying to watch where that one's going, see if he does any kind of, like, weird jump to get himself out. There he is. He's totally stuck. Got another one over there. Oh, it's Gam Gam! <laughs> Careful, Gam Gam! Oh, look at that! Oh, she's so agile. Oh, she's completely underwater too because she's so short. <laughs> Poor Gam Gam. There we go. I do like the sound of this. Not really sure about using the uh, the ACOG all that much because of that sway that's in it. Oh, it's, it's just too much for me to handle. I can't do it. This way, though, isn't half bad. There you go. You still stuck down there? You got this, Gam Gam. I do want to know if they can do that jump, though. So I am going to stay, like, here. Come on. Things are definitely getting a little bit spicier now. Doesn't look like they can get out of there either. So you are totally stuck if you're in the city or something. I guess trying to lead them down into... This little canal area can do a bit of work for you to keep them off your back. My one thing I am worried about right now, I haven't seen them yet, but I know saying it is basically going to make me manifest them into existence. It's always oh, a police station. It's dogs. Oh shit, they might be here. <laughs> like the canine unit or something. All right, let's get a little bit of eagle action. There's some right here as well on the other side of the wall. Nice. I'm blaming the sights. They're not dialed in. Let's try again. A little bit off to the right. Yeah, they're definitely not dialed in. There it is. <laughs> nice. 
Gonna reload everything up. Yeah, we're not really finding all that much in the way of <laughs> teeth from them now. Maybe they've completely rotted away or something, but I'm getting... Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Straight reminds me of Resident Evil. Why are they so much tougher? What? You're taking a deagle to the face. What? Why are you not dying? That was like four or five shots. <laughs> if these things are tanks, I don't want to get chased that much by them. Yeah, we're just getting fabric. Give me your teeth. Oh, shit. What was it? That's two point blank, three point blank in the head. What were you guys holding out on me on? Oh, there we go, 762. So we can still use the AK. I wouldn't mind finding a little bit more of that. Shotgun rounds. I mean, I'll keep hold of it. It's only three shells or... There we go, 762. 5.56, five, more shotgun, more 9 mil. I wonder if we actually do have to take care of stuff like this. Let me just give that a try. Maintenance... Oh, there we go. Okay, so yeah, it's just due to the condition. Sergeant office. Oh, got like a little plaque on the wall. <laughs> Good job. Good job, Sergeant Jackson. Well done. <laughs> it's getting really dark as well. What time is it? Almost 6 a.m. So we have been pretty much fighting a full day <laughs> in the city. That's, that really took me by surprise. What is that? Metallurgy Volume 1? Oh, wait. If I give that to the trader, I might be able to gain a lot of favor by using that. I think. I'm pretty sure that I've seen that somewhere. Like, I, I I think one of them have asked if they can get this. Yeah, this is... Oh, wait. So, maybe. Yeah, that's what you have to do. Maybe you have to go to the traders or something. Give them the blueprints. Oh, shit. Get downstairs. That has happened so many times. Oh my god. Oh, my fucking soul just left my body when I turned around and then I saw that face. Oh. They're not going to hear the shots from the weapon. They're going to hear that scream that I just did. Oh my. Oh. Take a knee. Just relax. That's what I was telling you guys. That's happened a few times while I've been looting around. Holy shit. Oh. Okay. Where are we right now? They're so quiet the way they sneak up on you like that. Yeah, something like this is what I'm really looking for. Yeah, there we go. It's recovering now. Just found a little spot on top of like a security shack just before we head over there. And the fog rolled in as well, so probably a safer bet. I've just noticed as well. Look up there. Look at the size of that teddy bear. <laughs> it's like a giant rabbit or something. Ooh. So they're all... Oh, yeah. There's like two or three trying to jump the wall there. That's a police one. Made him do a backflip. Come on. Another one down. Nice. Right. This is where I imagine it's all going to get really bad. Not going to be worried about the noise. Plenty of five, five, six. Oh, we got hats over here. They're like coming out of this spot. Oh, the look at that. Oh, that's so cool. The zombies in this are really, really cool. 
You take off a limb and they'll carry on crawling. Let me do that again. I didn't quite take that off, but now it's off. Oh, man, I absolutely love that. I think one's trying to get around here. Let's just keep pushing through. I want to try and get to the opposite side. Not getting super fatigued. Oh, yeah, there's more. Oh, there's quite a few here. Oh, there's a lot here. Okay. Yep. This is what I wanted to see. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Careful with that recoil. Keep checking ahead. Get a little bit further forward. Try and line them up. A small one. This is what I was hoping to see, to be honest. Definitely don't want to get a scratch or a bite. Do have one antiviral in reserve, but... Oh, shit. Oh, this is actually giving me goosebumps a little bit. I've been fairly confident throughout this. Okay. Please tell me we do oh, please tell me we don't have to take a knee to reload this thing. No, we can reload it on the go. Nice. Come on. Can't imagine that. Was easy though. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh yes! <laughs> oh, that was so cool. Oh, I love that. I love this thing. Okay, it's getting a little bit worrying now. <laughs> I think I've run out. Switch to the pistol. Get over this. Use the barrier while you can. <laughs> Keep it moving. This is cool though. more coming. Oh, no. There's more just latching. What is this? Oh, I thought that was a vehicle we could use. Is it? Oh, that thing looks sick. Come on. Come on. Can't take any risk with that thing coming in from the right. But that's how we're going to do it, though. We're going to have to line them up. Damn, you can take a couple of headshots before you go down. See, I'm going to have to go back there and get all the teeth. But they're going to start disappearing. Should have ideally done it when I let rip with the, uh, the saw. <laughs> me all this. Don't disappear! I need your teeth! I know that sounds weird. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, there's still more coming in. I didn't even take that one down. No more 762. Do we have any more 556? Five, five, nope. <laughs> and we got a little bit more 44, but that should be enough. One more there. Let's take the leg out. If we can. Actually took it down. Okay. I think there was... Yeah, there's a trader's nearby. Let's head towards that. And we'll see <laughs> what we can get for our 73 teeth. It's more this thing, though, that I'm more interested in. See what that does. But that was cool. I like that. As an experience, that was awesome. Like, being chased by that many of the undead. 
That's kind of what I was going for there when I went round to this side with all like the high-rise buildings. I like that. Oh! Shit! Don't have any bandages. I'm gonna have to use one of these. I don't want the bleed to lead to infection, so I know that might seem a little bit over the top, but yeah, I don't want to skin them either. And did I just? Okay, I was gonna say to you guys, I have a little bit <laughs> of nine mil in reserve, but no, we don't. That has all gone now. This thing is trash, by the way. Like, <laughs> for a 44, a 44 caliber Magnum, I'd expect this to hit way harder than it does. Or, I don't know, maybe those things are just tanks. But I noticed with the uh, the undead, too. Wait. Where is this guy? Straight up here. Ah, there it is. Okay. I was half predicting there that I was going to see like a bear because <laughs> we've been through everything else so why not the bear just coming in and destroy us right let's see can we give you one redeem reward what can I do for you can you teach me something can you teach me electrical electrical one do we have that no we have any oh wait we have electrical volume three so how does that work oh is that the relationship needs to be 20 for that Oh, I see how it works now. Okay. So, I have some things for you. Can we just straight up sell them then? So, that gets me nine. And then that one too, 15. So, our relationship, I mean, is really good right now. And if there's any traders, it'd probably be this one that I wanted to make friends with right near the city like this. So, I can, like, grind the, uh, the teeth if needed. I would like to barter with you. Is that all you have? Okay. What else can we do? have some things. What can I do for you? Transmit a level. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so you guys have told me about this. Apparently, if you do these, that's how you can get, like, waves of zombies coming in. We have zero to fight them with, so <laughs> back up. I did see off, like, the most recent update, there was, like, a way you can find, I think it's Sauron's clothing. <laughs> so that's why I think this is in here. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's absolutely unnecessary, but I'm sure some people will get a kick out of it. All right, there we go. Yep. Just turning to night time. Just gone seven, so I think I'm going to find a place to lay down. And with that, guys, I think this is where we're going to end. Hopefully you enjoyed it, going through the city like that. I know parts of it were super uneventful, but towards the end there, <laughs> got a little bit dicey. It was honestly a, quite a lot of fun. I thought that was another wolf. But like I say, if you did enjoy it, please drop a like on the video. Subscribe to keep up to date with everything. And I'll see you all in the next one.